been awesome. You know, it's uh, it's crazy to see how far we've come. Uh, you know, I've been I remember being traded over in 2016 and and seeing this organization grow and being a part of such a, a special team. It's uh, it's been an honor and it's been a privilege and we're we're super excited. Um, but the off season went well, man. I I uh, was able to you know clear the head after a, a learning year for me um, in 2020. A lot of ups, a lot of downs. Um, you know, but I'm I'm excited to get back out there and and attack the zone. You know, the results were never there. I was never pleased with with the results and and my personal goals um, when it comes to the game of baseball. But I was able to learn a lot. You know, I was I was able to uh, learn how to face adversity. Um, you know, basically dug myself in some holes and I had to get out of them. And I think you know this game is is very challenging and very hard. You have to be able to learn those things quickly, or you know it's just gonna relay over to the next season. So I think it was it was good for, for me personally to to go home and see my family and clear my head and, and get back into uh, you know set my goals high for the 2021 season. When you say the results were never there, when, when you look back on it, was it because the league knew you a little bit better? You didn't execute the way you wanted to, pitch sequencing, what what did you what do you think it was all about? For me I think it was uh, very challenging um, you know, like you said earlier, not having, you know, a set time, um, you know, when the season was going to start, there was just a lot of a lot of challenges that, you know, us as players had to deal with for the first time, as well as everybody, um, including our coaching staff. It was it was just, you know, kind of a, a strange year, um, you know, but that's no excuse. I think overall, um, the biggest the biggest thing that I would say is it was mentally for me and I'm a, I'm a big believer in. Uh, you know, we've we've thrown a thousand innings through our baseball career. We've done it a thousand times. Stepping foot on the rubber is is just another day. So I think it has a lot to do with how you prepare and how you how you can uh, eliminate all the noise out there in the world. Um, so for me, I, I felt like there was a couple times, a couple starts where I, I wasn't myself. You know, I was overthinking. Um, you know, giving too much credit to the to the team we were facing or the hitter I was facing instead of just being myself and going out there and competing. I can tell you one thing, I'm, I'm hungry. Um, you know, I'm excited to get back out there. Uh, we have such a special group and, uh, you know, having, having you and having Snell and Musgrove and those guys, Lamette, uh, you know, to look up to and to learn from those guys, it's, I'm really excited. But, you know, overall, um, a couple things I worked on was just getting my fastball back. Uh, never been like a big analytical guy or, or breaking down that stuff, but I know that, you know, the way the game has developed, um, you know, I took a step back and, and started learning a couple things about, you know, the rap soto and the track man side of things. So, you know, I can glance at that during the season and make sure that, you know, we're still where we want to be. Um, you know, but I think, like I said, it's just it was clear in my head, I think was was a big part and it's going to be a big part of the success for for this upcoming season is is just being able to uh, to clear the head, but also you know get back to being myself mentally. Um, fastball, like I said, was a I think was a big uh, problem for me last season. You know I had more horizontal break than I've ever had. Um, so being able to, to take a step back and and throw in a couple more bullpens this off season than I have in the previous years um, to really dial that in and get ready for spring. Hi, Chris. This is a strange question kind of based on the, the B-roll footage that we've had access to, but did you did you bulk up this offseason? It looks like you got a little bit bigger in the offseason. I did. Um, you know, I've always struggled putting on a little bit of weight. Um, you know, I've always been that tall drink of water, that saying they say, but, uh, you know, I, I really focused on my nutrition this offseason. Um, and like I said, having, having a, a season that I wasn't very pleased with personally, um, you know, got me in the weight room and I, I attacked a, a lot of different situations and getting my making sure my body's ready to go for for spring training as well as the season. So I put on, like I said, six to seven pounds of, of good muscle this off season. How did you do that? Like what's 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 the what's the secret for your nutrition? To be honest with you, um, I bought some land out in <laughs> uh, Texas, about 25 acres, I have like a little little cabin that I'm staying in and 30 minutes is the nearest grocery store. So I had, you know, once every two weeks, I went to the grocery store and, and stocked up and I cooked every night. And I think that, that had a lot to do with, 
um, being disciplined, knowing that I can't drive over to Whataburger and, uh, you know, get a double meat cheeseburger. I had to, you know, stay disciplined with, with eating my chicken or broccoli or fish, whatever it was that night. And last thing, and I, and I think you kind of alluded to this when to Bob Scanlon, but how did you deal with the mental? I mean, you had the high and the low. You were the opening day starter, which was a goal of yours, and then you didn't get a chance to pitch against the Dodgers in the postseason. How did you? How did you deal with that internally uh, this off season? Yeah, it was you know it was challenging. Like I said, there was a, there was it was a huge learning curve for me. Um, but at the end of the day, you know. I know everyone's asking about, you know, why I didn't pitch against the Dodgers series. It wasn't that, you know, we, we were hoping that we were going to get to game four, game five against those guys. And I was just, you know, I was ready to go for game four. Um, but, you know, overall, the, the opening day start as well as, as not pitching in playoffs, it's not a big factor. You know, I know that this, at the end of the day, this team wants to win and we're all going to contribute some way or another. And, you know, my biggest goal is to make sure that I can just be a good teammate and control what I can control. And with the group of guys we got now, um, you know, I know Turner on the Dodgers side hit it on it um, a couple days ago, but we got 18 or 19 games in the regular season of, of playoff baseball. So it's going to be pretty fun against those guys. Thank you. Um, what uh, what did you pinpoint as the uh, exact reason for the, the drop off in the fastball last season from what it was in 2019 and, and what it did spin wise in 2019? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, talking pitching here, it's, uh, you know, being a taller pitcher on the mound, I, my biggest success rate is whenever I'm north to south, you know, I, last year I was east to west, you know, I was, I was pulling off, um, you know, my spin direction was outside of one for the, for y'all that know, you know, the baseball term of that, the axis of the baseball was, I was just, I was getting two seam run on my four seam fastball. Um, and, you know, at the big league level, the longer they see it in the zone, you know, the harder they're going to hit it. So to answer your question, I would say the biggest thing that I fixed was broke down a lot of video in 2019, as well as, uh, you know, 2018 and in, in the minor leagues of, of really breaking down some of my mechanics on my front side. Um, you know, keeping basically the term I use is staying grounded as long as I can. Um, with my legs and let my upper body, you know, pinpoint the strong, strong direction um, to whoever it is that I'm throwing to that day. Confidence in your curveball, where is that? And where do you see that progressing this year? Um, you know, the way I, I like to explain it now is, is confidence on all my pitches is there. And I, I, I think I've lacked that over the past couple of years of, of really trusting those pitches. Um, Going back to the analytical side of things, I think I threw my fast or my curveball four or five percent of the time last season. You know, at the big league level, you know that's not going to cut it. Um, especially being a starter nowadays, you got to you got to be able to show three or four pitches um, to have some success. And you know, I think the curveball, like I said, I'm pretty hard on myself, but I'm I'm really liking the shape. I'm really liking the velo where it's coming out so far. Um, throwing some bullpens in spring and, and had my first live a couple of days ago. So being able to get some feedback from our hitters um, as well as as our coaches, I think is, is going to be really good for me going into spring.